Stuttgart. Hi, happy Monday, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Now, today to kick the entire show off, we have to talk about the one big thing happening in the world, Super Bowl! Yes, it was the Super Bowl over the weekend, and of course, I'm going to talk a little bit about that, starting with Joe Namath. What's up with your fur coat? You're trying to be the Ikea monkey? Seriously, though, dat coat. And that's all I cared about for the game. Now into the commercials. That's the thing that I really cared about here. McDonald's had a really fun lip reading commercial. Doritos had a time machine. Oh my God, look at James Franco here. He has a tiger in the commercial, which is awesome. Of course, there was the typical beer ad and the dog commercial kind of put together. Radio Shack had some fun making fun of the fact that they're very 80s, but not anymore. They're looking very fresh. Toyota rocking a Muppets commercial, because of course the Muppets uh, movie is coming up very soon. And of course, Jaguar. Wire. They had a really cool commercial here talking about British villains. Super funny. Of course, links to all of those commercials in the description down below. Can't show them all here because, you know, of reasons, but link down below. Check them all out. Tons of cool commercials. Though the one commercial that was kind of controversial was the Coke ad. Coke had a very simple ad showing off families doing different things, enjoying Coca-Cola. Though in the background, the song America the Beautiful was being sung, though being sung in different languages, not just English. And of course, the world exploded, or at least the small portion of it that doesn't like that. The hashtag Speak American started trending on Twitter. There was, of course, then the traditional backlash against said hashtag. So congratulations, Coke, on trying to create an ad that's very touching and heartwarming, to which it was, I really love the commercial, to the people who thought it should be only sung in English. Yeah, you can just get out. But the world couldn't have a good thing like the Super Bowl without an unfortunate bad thing. The bad thing, unfortunately, being Philip Seymour Hoffman was found dead at the age of 46 in his New York apartment. At the current time, it's believed the actor had a heroin overdose. Hoffman won an Oscar a few years ago, portraying the writer Truman Capote. He also recently spoke about his previous struggles with drugs and stated that after 23 years of being sober, he did fall off the wagon last year and went into rehab. Many of the younger viewers may also note him from the most recent Hunger Games movie, an interesting note about this, Hoffman has actually recorded many scenes for the final two films, but has not completed all of them. So it'll be interesting to see how they spin that in the movies. When I first heard about this, I was really sad. You know, Philip's an awesome actor, really enjoyed all of his work. It's a sad thing to see him go. Into the world of quick news now, as Pebble is making a big splash in the smart watch accessory world. They're launching their brand new app store today, and it's available to everyone using iOS 7. The Android version, though, is coming very soon, just is not quite ready. At launch, they're going to have around a thousand apps for your smartwatch. That includes smartwatch faces and distinct applications like Foursquare or other cool apps that allow you to check in right on your watch. This update is completely free and available to you right now. So if you have a Pebble smartwatch like myself, go and download it, check it out. It's totally cool. Facebook though, not being overshadowed by Pebble as they're launching Paper today. This brand new app from Facebook allows you to actually view Facebook and browse it in a very newspaper-esque type of way. You get this full page view and it allows you to scroll sideways instead of vertically through your newsfeed. Currently only available in the US, though my hope international launch must be coming sometime soon. In a follow-up to the news that I talked about on Friday, SimGuru FR is trying to calm everyone down with the changes happening at the EA studio, stating the development of The Sims 4 is still very much intact and going ahead as scheduled. There will be no worries about the upcoming game. It's all gonna be fine. Everybody calm down. And last in quick news, Minecraft passed 14 million sales today on the PC. Across all platforms, it's expected to be around 32 2 million sales. The PlayStation 3 just passed a million a couple weeks ago. The Xbox 360 sold more than 10 million. And the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions are still on their way for the following year. And last in the world of news, Apple's iWatch here because it's a highly anticipated device, so I kind of want to talk about it. Many rumors pointed to the fact that it will be coming out this fall, but the device could have some very interesting features in it. Let alone, of course, it'll allow you to actually see notifications from different apps. And Apple is rumored to be working on an eye health component to work into the smartwatch. But the big news here is how the device could actually be charged and charged while it's still on your wrist in the future. The device may actually use wireless charging, which is something Apple's been looking into for many years. Wireless charging is a system to actually just plug in a little tiny brick into the wall. It emits a signal that then transmits electricity to your wristwatch. Though if you're not near one of the those wireless charging stations, a solar panel might also be mounted on the watch. This will allow your watch to just charge a little bit. It won't charge the entire thing, but it could prolong
prolong the lifetime of the watch at least another couple of hours. So some pretty cool rumors there, but of course, until Apple releases the official iWatch, we really have no idea. So of course, the big topic here, the Super Bowl. So what was your favorite Super Bowl commercial? And of course, if you didn't watch the Super Bowl, what's the best ad that you've seen in the most recent months? You can let me know in the comment section down below. You can also let me know what your favorite commercial was on my Facebook page, Twitter account, or through Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in today's episode in the description down below. Check out all the links down there. Tons of really cool stuff. Of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe even share the show with your friends. Until next time, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.